Contestants, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Funhouse, Pat Sharp. Hello, welcome along. Here's the Funhouse. It's a big show today, real big show, big prizes, great power prize a bit later. But first of all, say hello to the small twins, Melanie and Martina. <laughs> they may be small, but they're perfectly formed and ready to go and to bring on our players. Come on, guys! Because you are a little bit, little bit smaller than me, aren't you? I am, aren't Yeah, you? yeah, both of you twins are a little bit smaller, but... You are cleverer. Of course I am. Prove it. Who have you got? I have Alex and Michael from Belfast, and they both attend the Methody College. Yeah! Already proven the point. See, I didn't know that. Who have you got, Mel? I have Ian and Yvonne, and they're from Lindsay, and they attend the Lindsay Academy. Yeah! And even though all the contestants are taller than you, they we are. should reveal that they are actually standing on a block of wood behind this, so that's yeah. why they're a little bit bigger. <laughs> you ready to go, guys? Excited? Yeah. yeah. Good. Good luck to our players on the Fun House today. Yeah! Okay, here's what you need to know if you're playing at home, if you're playing your own version of Funhouse around the living room and up into the bathroom and out into the garage and so on, or if you live in a flat, you're playing a fun flat. It's up to you. You're welcome. We have uh, three fun-filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. After each game, we bring you guys back here and we offer you the chance to answer a question which is also worth 25 points. You don't have to get gungy though, so it's a bit nicer. If you get that right, you get 25 points, as I say. Eventually, we have a Grand Prix after the three games. That's worth 50 points to the winning team and 25 points for the spare wheels you pick up along the way. Then, the team with the most points gets to go inside that fun house, that very one right there. You can't miss it, and you'll love every second of it because it's a top power prize today, and you could be getting that. So, we understand the rules. Let's get you away, all of you, straight away. In fact, today, we're going to do doubles games for every single game. So, if you are joining at home and you've got a brother or a sister or your mum there or whatever, you could all play. Um, I do believe there's a moose in the hoose. That's just my Scottish accent because we make this show in Glasgow. There's a mouse in the house for you south of the border. Eee, come and see! <laughs> It's called Fridge Fright. Now, the reason it's called Fridge Fright is because um, there's going to be a fright for our mice in the fridge. Now, our mice look kind of nice, but in a moment, they won't. They look very messy. If you have a look behind you, you'll see the giant fridges. I'd like you to dispatch the rather nice housewives that you can see there, uh, like uh, basically like Tom and Jerry's owner there, yeah? Put them in the fridge, there you go, okay. or just above the fridge, okay. just in case the mice who decide to steal the cheese open the door of the fridge, get a bit of a surprise. In other words, wah! Like that, from the housewife. That's what's going to happen here. It's the cheese that they're after here, as you can see. Uh, you've got to climb through here in and out just to make it more exciting and more slippy. And it's the most amount of cheeses you can get on the cheese board at the end of 60 seconds. Don't get bored with your cheese. On your marks, get set, don't be cheesy, go! <laughs> The final crash there, right in the middle of the tunnel. They got in there together and went woof, like this. All right, let's see how many pieces of cheeses we've managed to get. We'll count up the reds first because they're slipping all over the place. Right, we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah! Don't forget to count your feet as well, Mel. Okay. 
Cheesy feet. <laughs> okay, how about okay, you, Okay, we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six! Yeah! My goodness me! Looks like it's a yellow win. Let's rerun the cheesy fun. Yeah! I like that one. 25 to the yellows! Yeah! That was Fridge Fright. Here's the question. It's for the boys. Good luck. It's Alex versus Ian, and here we go. Complete the saying, too many cooks spoil the... Broth. Broth is right. Well done. It's 25. That makes it level. 25 points apiece. Yeah! Well done, Ian. You're a bit of a sportsman, aren't you? Yeah. And uh, who are your favourite pop groups? Uh, Verve and Oasis. Verve and Oasis? Yeah. A little bit trendy, are you? Yeah. Not into the Spice Girls at all? <laughs> no. Well, surprise, because at the moment you look like one of them. <laughs> but on we go with our next game, if you'd like to take the boys away, because uh, they'll need to get out of those hair nets and the girls. Yeah, take everybody. Another doubles game, because that's what we're doing. This time we're going to do Faster Pasta. Oh, yes, come with me! OK, this looks nice, doesn't it? This looks uh, not that nice, does it? OK. I got No, I'm not going to taste it, thank you very much. Oh. Melon. No, 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 no. I'd rather just explain the game, which is quite easy. Basically, our little spaghetti men, who you can see there, are, well, they're not really dressed, are they? Like an undressed salad. Yeah. What they need to do is need to get themselves a couple of vegetables. So one by one, crisscross all the way to the other side for reds and yellows. You'll grab yourself uh, a red pepper or perhaps a tomato or any kind of vegetable that you can see hanging from there. Then, when you're in the pool, you come back and you drop that into your little dish. However, of course, you will need to have some more dressing from your chef who will place some pasta over you to make it even nicer. Uh, some bolognese, shall I say, on the pasta. So that will make it absolutely the perfect dish and it will look like this in the end. Couldn't okay. be easier. So good luck to both our teams, one of whom will receive runners-up points because it's a key game. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> mess of the old pool, haven't we? So let's see how many we got for the yellows, Martina. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we managed to get one, two, three! Yeah! OK, three bits of yellow vegetable. How many for you, Mel? We got... <laughs> one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven... <laughs> Key game, three points to the yellows, well done, but 25 to the red! <laughs> Alex versus Yvonne, here we go, good luck, are you ready? From Fasta Pasta, what's the capital of Italy? Rome. Rome is right, well done, okay, so another 25. 28 yellows, 75, the reds well ahead now. <laughs> Tell me about um, your little adventure with the video recorder when you were young. I thought I would help my mum um, do the cleaning and I got my baby cream, new soda cream, and I put it inside our new video recorder and then I put a tape in and then it broke. Oh dear. <laughs> but you also did something else um, with your mum's credit card, didn't you? Yeah, I What did you do it. there? 
I had it. You ate your mum's credit card? Yeah. That made your dad happy, did it? Cost, save him a fortune, I think, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and cost him a fortune, though, the other way with the video, so yeah. either way. OK, so good luck to our players here, because they're all going to play a game, aren't they, all of them? Yes. It's the last one. <laughs> so take them away. Come on, guys. Someone take me away as well, because I'm in a terrible muddle now. It's the last game of the day, ahead of the Fun Cart Grand Prix. So we've had games that have rhymed or had the same sort of letters or sounds all the way along, so this time we're going to continue. Why not? Let's have Knitting Kittens at Granny. Granny's house. Yeah. Made it! Right on time for the last game today, and here we are with my little uh, wool. Oh dear, I'm not very good at knitting. I won't know how to do this. It'll all come undone and all unraveled and all be a disaster. Unless I use Granny. Ah, uh, <laughs> hello, Granny. <laughs> you look lovely, yes. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Our little pussycats here have got a good job because they like playing with balls of wool, and they're going to send the balls of wool up from their pool one by one to you. You're going to catch that ball of wool, you're going to smash it, that will count as one point, OK? Obviously, the one with the most points is the winner. However, every time you smash a ball of wool, the girls are going to give you some of this. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting noise to it as well, hasn't it? Basically, that's funhouse tea, cos Granny likes a cup of tea, doesn't she? Before she gets a kiss from her grandson. You're right, Granny! <laughs> All right, get You're Granny! Right. Can you hear us? <laughs> They've lost it completely. Be careful if their teeth fall out. On your marks, get set, go! Yeah, yeah. seem to like that one. I hope you did at home as well. Our pussycats have survived rather well. They're extremely clean. The grannies are in disaster mode. They look just dreadful. You okay? Wipe your eyes. You okay? You're right, Fantastic. Sorry. Well played for those grands. Granny, you've lost your wig. Granny, you oh wig. my goodness. Put it back on quick as you can. There we go. That's much more You're attractive. Right. Yep. All right, love. You're right. All right. It's going to be a very wet, sloppy kiss in a minute, isn't it, from Granny? <laughs> <now>. <laughs> OK, Mel, uh, I know that we're in double figures here, so this could be a problem for you. What do you reckon? We got 23! Yeah! Yeah! And now over to the other Granny Grant. How did we get on there? <laughs> we got 10! Yeah! Hey, Red's already ahead, and they get 25 more points for that. Let's rerun the fun! Yeah! Knitting Kittens was the game. 25 points, the Reds, yeah! yeah! Girls, question. Alex against Yvonne, good luck. Here we go. Apart from on a cat, where else would you find cat's eyes? <laughs> Reds. On the road. On the road is right. Another 25, well done. 28 yeah! yellows. 125, Reds, well ahead! Fantastic. Well played in that last game, everybody. Let's get ready now and see how well you drive, because it's that time again for the girls to bring on the carts. It's the Fun Car Grand Prix next! Yeah! It's a celebration. The flags are waving, the twins are waving mad, and our drivers are fantastic. So I think you've had good training and you're ready to go. These are the spare wheels that you'll be gunning for, OK? See them? They will be hanging from the gantries, and you've got to grab them as you go by on laps two and three. Laps one and four are speed rounds, so just go as fast as you can. Change round after each lap. Who's going first? Hi. OK, good luck. Good luck to everybody here. Into your carts. Now, I know that our audience today is not only very attractive, but they're also very, very noisy. Is that right? Yeah! Good. In that case, watch the lights. Here we go. Five, four, three, two...
just what the yellows needed. 50 points! OK, it's time to add up the yellow steering wheels and see how many they managed to collect on the way around. So, shall we go? Yeah. OK, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Three wow. gives you 75 more points. Well done. Red's Red Adair, here she goes. Melanie? <laughs> Two, three, four, all of them. Yeah! 100 points. <laughs> Final score on today's Funhouse. Yellow 153, Red 225. You're going into the Funhouse, you've done it. <laughs> but nobody goes away empty handed on this show, so we've got for you. A CD radio cassette. Actually, it's not that CD when you get it home. It's quite nice. <laughs> so there you go. Enjoy that. We've got one for you waiting out in a box. You get one each. And you've also got a hat and a le jacket. And Martina models wonderfully. Have you had fun? Yeah. yeah. In our house? Someone yeah. Going. You've been great. Thanks for playing. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> You guys, you're the stars of today's show, but it's not over yet. We've got to get you inside that fun house. Gary King's got all the details on what's actually inside. And you guys, come on down! Yeah! Descend into the sunken well, and you'll be well pleased with this personal organiser. Or step lively in the bull run for this trendy double phone. Head for the flying box and pick up a flash prize, a blinking pocket pager. Or get into a tangle with the snake in the box to free the fun games. Hold on tight to the fireman's pole to spy a pie maker. Or smoochy dance in the cruel tube to pick up a love stereo. Bopping in the bobsleigh will get you a year's fan club membership. Or hop to it in the big leap and win the perky PlayStation. There's a cool prize in the A-frame, a yummy ice cream delight. Or grab a cheeky camera as you pass the climbing net. Meet the challenge of the danger net and claim this nifty sports set. Or take the tall tower to try on the trendy trainers. You'll need a cosy footstool once you've climbed the giant steps, bash through the balloon run for these novelty novels, and hop down the wild slide to skip off with a good A gear. Ooh, Ian and Yvonne are very excited now about uh, going inside the fun house. What will you be going for, guys? PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh, well, it's both of you the same, which is a bit silly, because if you get one PlayStation tag, you'll both get one. So what else? Pager. Pager, yep, good. Two pages, anything else? It's like a shopping list. Uh, what would you like? What would you like? Uh, trendy trainers. Oh, trendy trainers. OK. Well, good luck. These are the tags. This is one of them anyway. An example tag, 15 of them in total inside the funhouse. So you've got three, 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 which is more than 15. But as many as you can, up to 15. Now, one of them corresponds to the power prize. This week is the top prize. Gary King has the details. Gary? Lights, camera, action, lovies. Direct your own Titanic of a movie with this fab video camera. You get your own video camera and a bag to put it in each. So you can go around to each other's houses and video each other and then watch it back on the TV. Sound good? Yeah. Not got your own video camera? Mm, yeah. No. No? You've got one? Uh -huh. Your very own? No, it's my mum's. There you go. You'll have your own. You don't have to borrow anymore, you see. Your own one, and it'll be much more modern than your mum's old one as well, so it'll be able to put her in the shade. OK, let's find out exactly where this special tag is this week. <laughs> Aha! So it'll be there, will it? I don't actually know where it will be. Uh, our guys will not find that tag by sight. They will only find it by sound when it makes this noise. <laughs> Then you're halfway to the power prize and that fabulous video camera. Martini will bring on a question. If you answer it correctly, three-parter, you'll be away. Oh, Melanie's giggling away today, isn't she? Look at her. Hey. So much more attractive with that gunge on your face. Look at it. What's all that? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, the gunge games are over. Now it's down to the real business. Everybody's excited at home, I know. And uh, who's going first? Me. Yvonne. Ladies first? Fantastic, Yvonne. Ian, you have to wait a while. Three tags, Yvonne. On the way back, high five. One foot on the step. Little wave there to say goodbye. Big wave in there when you go through the wall. Two minutes, go!
How good were they? They were so good, weren't they? Come on, give another round of applause. Brilliant. Well done, Ian. Well done, Yvonne. Let's see what you've managed to get on this week's Fun House. You've got a sports set each. We'll give you a camera each. The good day gear. The double phone. The personal organizer. Trendy trainers, that's what you wanted. The cozy footstool. That's it for Granny. <laughs> that's for Granny. The PlayStation, yeah! And the pocket pager, yeah! And the power price sound was heard. Bring on the question, Martina. OK, guys, a little bit this way so you can be right in the middle. You know what you're playing for. You can confer. You've got 10 seconds after I finish the question to think about it, confer and answer, OK? Big prize, your own video camera and a bag to put it in each. Worth a fortune. Good luck. In golf, at any individual hole, par is the average or mean score. Can you name three expressions that golfers would use to indicate a score under or over par? Boggy, bundy, eagle. Eagle, bundy, boggy. Yes! <laughs> We've got a little golfer here. Congratulations to you. Did you know anything about that or not? No. No. <laughs> but he still conferred with you. He said, he goes, yeah, you better go. And you went, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations. You've got a video camera each. You're Funhouse winners. You've done it. Had fun? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was feeling a bit under par after all that. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>